everyone, welcome to another episode of Little Engineers. Uh, today Hi. we have Little Engineers Club. Thank you, Pragna, for pointing it out. Um, today we have with us our three amazing little engineers, Pragna, Ishita, and Mina. Hello. And we have our resident uh, engineering expert, Ankurandran and Vishal. Welcome to today's this show. Is that uncle behind and me. we have our um, amazing, awesome director, Prashant and girl. Kudos to you, you're doing a great job. So. And Prashant and my dad is behind the scenes. Yeah. Yes, he's he's making sure that these videos are amazing and awesome, and people love it. And so far, we thank you so much for all the support. We're getting a lot of good uh, good response. So that's why we are keep producing these interesting videos. Today we have something very interesting project to do. We are going to open a light bulb. Uh, it's a light bulb that that that, that, that blinks, 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 blinks off and it's, on. It's a light bulb. Huh? It doesn't blink. So there is a light bulb. And you know what is the special thing about this light bulb? Does it look like any other bulb that you have seen? Or is, does it look anything, anything different? It looks cool. I have saw in my house we have those brown circles and then we do light bulbs. So it looks like the thing. Right. And these are LED light bulbs. Yes, I knew that. Yes. You, I already, already know that they are LED light LED bulbs. Are? Sometimes it like it can light up all different colors. Oh. And LED um is the most specialist brand of all the light bulbs. Did you hear that? So our little engineers are claiming LED bulbs are one of the most special kind of bulbs and they can change colors. It's absolutely like I had I used to have an LED in the light that could turn blue colors. Right! And yeah. I LED had the same thing too. Right! And LED you can do that. So I think eventually I uh, will give it to Uncle Uncle and I am so much excited to hear about how LED bulb works. Are you guys ready? Yes, and we'll see the problem. Then what's going on? I think not the bulb is we're gonna learn the bulb today. So so I'm the thing. So we're not we're not doing a repair project today, by the way, uh, team. So before we start, uh, just a precautionary tale. Today we are playing with a light bulb, which is an LED light bulb. It's not a normal light bulb, and it has some uh, some glass, some plastic, like some element which are extremely dangerous. dangerous so be cautious be very very cautious like, so always wear safety safety gears uh, and always maintain a safety distance and, did you and have, if you don't know what's going on consult a professional look around the the safety manual make sure you know what you're doing but at the end of the day there will be a lot of learning we want to we want we little engineers want to know What's going on inside these light bulbs? So, Uncle Uncle, take Mia, it away. Mia, you have a question? No, I just want to say something. Wait, I forgot. Okay, no worries. You can come back afterwards. Okay. All right, before we, before we jump into the LED bulbs, I'll give you some high level uh, how bulbs work, okay? And then we'll jump into the LED, LED bulb. Does, does anybody know how a normal bulb works? Without the LED? Yes, Mia. Mm -hmm. It's like it's round and then thin at the bottom, mm -hmm. but it has a spring. What's that for? I know. It's that's to so to twist it into something mm -hmm. and the electricity. Mm -hmm. It there are electricity things everywhere, and then the electricity goes in the bulb, mm -hmm. and then it grows through some what it just goes through some wires, and then. On one of them, one of the wires makes the electricity go into a bulb. Okay, and then, that's a good And then that little bulb is inside the real bulb. Mm -hmm. And then it just makes this go um, very bright. Ah, oh, so we have a bulb inside a bulb. It's like Russian dolls. Yeah. And a doll inside a doll. Ishida, do you want to guess? How, how like, Mia, by the way, very good, very good uh, on that. Uh, but there are two little bo boxes of positive and neg negative charges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And? And like when... Okay, don't really know how to explain it. That's fine. Buddy, you want to try it? 
Yeah. Um, Good job. The electricity this is in that side. Um, inside a little tiny wire. Um, and then it leads it to the light bulb inside, like near the phone. And the bulb inside the bulb it goes that's a bulb that goes That's a beautiful tiny point. One. And, then it, and then it twirls it out and then it goes. And then it goes do, do you know what is what that, that tiny wire is made out of? It's a special material. Uh, I know. Yes. Tin foil or metal? Tin foil. Or copper? Gold! Yeah. Copper? Yeah. Alright, so uh, guys pay attention. Uh, bronze! 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 All right. Silver! All right. Mia, yes, fine, yes, fine. team, let's pay attention. So, I I, I'll show you the difference between a normal bulb and an LED bulb. Okay? So a normal bulb, you guys know there's a battery or energy source, right? Sometimes where the electricity comes from, right? And then all it is, it goes to into something what we call a resistance. Uh, and oh. the, yeah, the resistance. Resistance. Remember, yeah, if you guys remember, our, our old friend. Remember, talk about resistance. We were like, oh, if you want to go straight, but there's incline, you if you can't go straight away running, it's like uh, when you put you a say, bucket. No, slow down. Come yeah, on, exactly. you just don't want to go super fast and have to bucket on yes. top. Yeah. Right? You go slowly and you put it in a cup. And it gets it heated. Hurts. It gets heated because it's so tiny. Yeah. It gets heated. So so think of resistance when you're going on a road. Remember that uh, speed bump kind of thing? Uh, like, 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 when the and road the is straight, line, you can go around. The yellow line and is and the resistor and it can go down. Oh, we can run down. But when we come in, the resistor is going Yes. Yes. But you remember yeah, that example. Yeah. So whenever you yeah. want to slow down, uh, when you, when you, something is going fast, when you want to slow down, it produces heat. So they, let's remember Paris example. If you are going on a road like this and you try to go up, trying to run, you get warm, right? Right? When you go and try to, when you're running on a straight road, it's okay. You're running, running. But if it goes like this and you're like trying to run really fast, and then you get tired and your body gets hot, right? So when your body gets hot, it emits this energy which is converted into light, right? And that's how a normal bulb works. So the electricity comes really, really fast, the resistance slows it down, and in the process it heats up, and then it emits elect uh, the light. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ishita, you have a question? Um, I noticed that there's a little positive negative. Yes, yes. so we created the battery. So see, this is the voltage difference. So there's a positive and a negative. And that's why uh, the, in the also normal- Positive charges and negative, negative charge. Yes. yes, electrons flow like this, you and the guys current know. flows like this. Okay, in the circuit. So this is the normal normal bulb, right? But the bulb that we are looking is a special bulb. What is it called? And LED light. Yes. So LED. The LED stands for light emitting diode. What does it stand for? Yes, Mia, good guess. So, so we we'll talk about this, this diode. Yes. So you guys have seen a diode. Remember, I, I showed you we opened up a circuit and you had something like this that looked like this. I I have a, I have a question. Remember? I have a question. That's so a diode. Uh, for for uncle uncle, mm -hmm. if we already have a bulb that we think we it works, right? Why do we need any bulb? That's a very good question. So let's try to answer the question. Okay. So what happens is uh, when I we know. are putting. Mia, you want to guess? I know. What? So, so the bulb can give you light that can be different colors. That's good. That's, that's a, one that's benefit. Example, that's, yes. When, yes. that's one benefit. Thank you. But there, there is also very more, more very important benefit. The other benefit that we have is this old way of putting a bulb. We see we marrying a positive charge to a negative charge just through this resistance. So there's a loss of when when you get tired, you know when you uh, this energy comes out when you're running up up the hill, you get tired very quickly, right? You can't run up the hill all the time every time, right? If I tell you go keep on running up the hill every time, you you'll be tired, right? So that's what happens on normal bulbs. It wastes a lot of energy. A lot of energy goes this way, and, and then, then it, and it gets converted into heat, and heat heat comes out. The bulb gets really really warm, and it wastes a lot of energy. I know that. So, 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 t t t t so tell me my little engineer statement. If I give you say 100 donuts to eat and you just get one, will you be happy? No. No, right? Because you want as many donuts as possible, right? That's what happens here. So you send this bulb 100 donuts, 
only one donut is being eaten and, and 99 donuts just get wasted. Yeah. So there's a lot of wasting going on and you would love to eat that donut. So Ankur Vishal give you a very good example because only small part of the energy is converted into light and a lot of energy lose, we lose in terms of heat and everything else in the circuit. So see all these red arrows are the energy we are wasting and the blue ones are the only ones that we are getting out of uh, from in terms of light. But we use more energy for the LED. No, so th this is what the benefit of the LED is. I'll show you, LED actually uses very less energy compared to the old bulb. So the way a LED bulb works, now let me go to the basic principle and then we'll try to open the bulb and see, okay? Basic principle! Okay, so now the basic... I know! Okay. It's not much Those are amazing guys, by the way. Yes. Kudos to... Uh, All the principles. Principle, yeah. and my principal's name is Dr. Sarno. Mr. Lakawa, shout out to you. And mine says Ms. La Ms. Langel. Mr. Langel. Mr. So shout out three, to all, the all the three principles. Amazing job, by the way. You are producing such a such a beautiful and amazing little ingenious for this world. Thank you so much. All right. So now this is how now pay very close attention. This is what how a light emitting diode works. So see, you same have the same battery, right? It's sending the current. First, we use a small amount of resistor to slow it down a little bit. But this is the important part. There are these positive ions and there are these negative ions. And what this, when the voltage difference exists between this uh, and this because of the battery, what happens is that one a negative charge and one positive charge, they meet and they put, uh, in the process of meeting, they emit light. So guys, do you, do you remember when, say, um, you have two friends, right? Wait, wait, I just... I, so, Mia, Mia. Mia, Mia the light. So, light? Yes. So, so basically, it's it's, light if, if you have two friends, right, you're coming to each other, right? Very fast. So you guys are running, 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 running to each other. And suddenly you guys banged, right? Then there's a noise. You, you hear someone just crashing into a, one, one other guy, right? So that means what's happening then is it's... it's, it's Discharge of energy, so the lot of energy sort of goes out in the in the form of noise or voice. In case of here, the both two friends are running to each other, they're fighting, and then the energy is discharged in the, in the form of light. Um, like what, what happened in school? Yeah, you bumped into each other and bumped your head, and, uh, and oh, there was a huge noise. I was yeah, like, that's what that happened in my school. Me and Shirsty were running. Yeah. And we had to to hug each other, but we two just. Instead, we just that's crashed. what that's what happens there all the time. And we had to go to the school nurse. Yeah. yeah. So so now I watch this. Look at guys. Look at this. Now look, watch this very careful. So these are these are your negative these are your negative electrons. These are your positive holes. And what happens is they try to like like Pari was saying they both run towards each other, run towards each other. And what happens? You see the positive hole, the negative get electron gets into the positive hole, and then in the process they emit. Light. light. It's a bang, 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 bang. So can, like you that can you draw a light bulb or a bright light? Yeah, and they emit yes. light. And usually, uh, we, we won't talk about this in the future, but they, they emit light in the process. Wait, what about the <laughs> 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 I love it. Our uncle is like amazing coach. <laughs> so he has already given us a glance of the future. So. All right, so we um, basically, when, when this negative, so you guys understood, right? When uh, these are positive holes and, and there's this, and electricity is pushing the electrons and saying, okay, go guys, go towards each other. They run towards each other and they meet like this. And then in the process, we emit some light in the form of uh, energy so in the like form of light. when it makes a noise, for us, we are real life, so it makes a noise. And, 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 this and, one makes more and, 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 and team, I think one of the interesting things to capture is, uh, or to notice here is, so if you have, if you have two mugs of water, right? One mug has half filled water and the other mug is completely full. If these mugs bang into each other, what happens? The, the, the filler, the mug which is full, which is a glass full, will spread water all over the place. Right? Yeah, that so that's what happened. Right? So these these negative, so these are like big, 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 big glasses with filled with complete water. So they are very high energy levels. And these are like, these are, okay, I can talk to you, like very sort of half filled glasses. And then, so, as, as Ankur beautifully said, the moment they hit it, we see a spillover. This guy's oh, and, and, and that thing turns into light. Like it's like you're screaming. And, 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 and you know what is a beautiful thing here? 
now out of 100 donuts you get about 16 to 17 donuts to eat yeah imagine um, yum, last yum, yum 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 last time you were just getting one now you got 16 to 17 donuts to eat now, we all want to eat 100 donuts by the way. I don't mind getting all the 100 donuts that we can eat. But we're not there. We get way too much. Orange donuts, by the way, that's that's true. That's true. Alright, guys, guys, one more thing, one last thing. So let's try to let's try to answer what Mia said. Mia, do you remember you said uh, one other benefit of light emitting diodes is that you get different colors of electricity? Remember? Yeah. So so what what happens is all these positive uh, so the positive poles that we talked about. We, we, uh, can you please pay attention? Okay, all these positive poles and these negatives they are at what we call different spectrum or different wavelength of uh, uh, of light. Okay, and what when they meet when different so that when the top ones meet they produce blue, okay. when the bottom ones meet they produce red, and all the colors in between. So it depends upon which spectrum they meet. They produce different kind of light. Wait, I had a blue one with the top mint. Yeah. So so it just turned blue. And I think and, and you can think of this way: if you have glass completely full, there will be a lot of splash. Yes. If the glass is slightly less full, you get still get a splash, but slightly less splash. Mm -hmm. So based on how much splash you want to get, if you change the glass size, that's why we see multiple colors. Because yeah. in that we can now have three glasses, hitting with a small glass. And every time the glass hits one of these guys, we'll get that color. Or, or I'll give you one more example. You have any question? Yeah. Oh, well, what does metro mean? So after what does? Blue, what does what mean? Mia, Mia, wait for her question, please. Metro means. Electron. Electron. Very good question. So right. electron is a negative charge. And like the, a neg neg negative and a positive. Yes, electron is the negative charge. And we have the positive force. So now keep in this, this is how what we were talking about differently. So see. Let's say this is the positive hole and this is electron. And if we do like this, see it was it was. You should like heard the clap, clap, right? Right. It's a different different clap, right? But if I go really fast, you heard the clap. Right? That's a blue light. That's a red light. So see, so if you clap like really small, this is a red light. If you go, that's this a blue light. This is a blue light. High energy, what? low energy. Is this a blue light? Yeah. Uncle, uncle, amazing! I think that's this is the best I explanation I've ever heard okay. about diodes. Anywhere in the world. Say something. That proves our little engineer club team is the best team what in the whole wide diodes? world. Yes, Ishita. Uh, I just said light emitting diode. Yes. Right. And, and, and by the way, we also call it light emitting device. Oh. Light emitting device. Yeah, you, you, have you, you have a question? I wanted to talk sometimes. But do you have a question? Uh, no. No, then we'll come back to you afterwards, okay? Uh, all right. So now it's the practical time. Wait, we should, now we understand the theory. You guys understand the theory? Um, there's a magnet. There is a magnet. So um, I no, think before we go on this section, uh, um, I, again I think a cautionary tale. So now we are going to open this bulb, and, yes, pay uh, and the entire team. I want us to pay very close attention. It's a safety safety measure. So it's a safety caution. We have the siren on. So this is this time we are trying to open the open the bulb. And you look, there is there may be glasses, and if the glass shatter, it's it spurts and it could hurt us. So so we have all the safety gears to protect us, and Uncle and Uncle have safety safety sort of uh, uh, gloves to maintain that. So we're gonna take a try again. Wait. It's a it's a it's a very safety hazard unless you have the right tool, right safety equipment, right the right safety measures. Wait. This is not a step to pursue. And if you all have the safety measure and you know exactly what you're doing and being very very safe and with an adult and with an adult so, and I think that's the mandatory for close all of our projects you need to have an adult uh, working with this with, with this project so uh, I'm going to take it away Mia yes um, and if he shatters then we can my dad he has gloves on so he can do this so it won't shatter anymore. so I think uh, as a precaution all of our hands should be at the back. We're not touching. We're we're, we're, put them we should not. Bottom, so I don't do anything. Whichever, whatever. Just have, just stay. Keep keep the hands away from the table. And and now we'll try to see if we can open this bulb without shattering it. Yeah, otherwise, we'll shatter it somewhere else. So we don't we don't get the spark glass. Okay. We won't shatter it. We'll try to open it so you guys uh, won't get shatters. Okay. I so now before we open up the bulb, I want you to see what's outside the bulb. Okay. 
So outside the bulb, there are three components of the world I want to pay attention to. So one is this casing that where it's the light comes. It's a plastic case for so for so for protection. protection. Yes, and it could be it could be glass too. Yeah, it could be plastic or glass depending upon. Uh, this is where the light comes out from. And this is where usually the mechanism is. See the middle portion. And then there's the bottom portion where we actually feed the electricity. No, it's not a magnet near. It's where we feed the electricity. So there are two terminals. There's this terminal and there's this. You, you know how we're positive and negative? And that is a metal. That looks like a metal. Yeah, it does. So now we'll try to open it, okay? So yeah, what's the secret yeah. sauce in Kurangal? What All what right. get is open? All right. So let let's go back to our parts. So if you guys remember, I told you there are three parts, right? So there's the bottom part. Everybody can see the bottom part. Huh? A middle All and top. I I I see a little circle board. Yeah. So I so know. the the thing the yeah, bottom part does, see. if you guys can see, me and uh, you pointed out there's a there's a thing you were saying. This is a magnet. It's not a magnet, it's just separating the charge. So see, this is one terminal and the other one is the center terminal. And if you see inside, what it does is, it touches two different wires. The black wire, the, the steel part, the outside part, this part, was touching the black wire. And the center part was touching the red wire. Right? So it was feeding the electricity to the black and the red wire. You see that? So this was the positive and the negative. see a tiny circuit for it. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. see, if we open up the casing here on the top, if you see, this is just empty. You will see it? That means it's just a cover. Yeah, it's just a cover. That, there you go, buddy. Very good. So, so this is the core part of the mechanism. So if you see, here, this is where it gets interesting. These things, what do you, anybody wants to take a guess what these things are? Does it say anything? What are those? Yeah, you guys can see. Uh, one by one, you can I, see. Wait, I saw one that's no, not touching, not touching. I saw one that's not Oh, yeah, I see. You see, it says 20, 30, 10, 10. Maybe that's its voltage. Do, do you see anything it says? Maybe it says voltage? I know, it says 40, 40, 30, 20. So if you guys pay wait, close attention. see everyone. That's okay, no worries. It's fine, it's fine. I'll explain it here. So if you guys see, this one says D1. D2, D3, D4, D5, and D6. What does D? What does D stand for? Anybody wants to guess? Determination. That's a very good shot. Determination. Yes. Diode. 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 Yes, guys. You guys are amazing. So this is the diode. So these are the diodes. Okay. And if you you've seen this in the previously in the circuit, and you have seen these things, so we will try to decipher what this is. Anybody wants to guess what this is? Yeah, oh, we're going to I, yeah. I, I knew that. Our team knew already knew this. I think yeah. Good job, guys. The black. If you see something that is small but and it's black. And, and, and it has a lot of legs. And a lot of legs. If you see right. something small and black and it's inside a circuit, then it has to be a has to be the brain of the circuit. Yes. If it looks like that integrated circuit, then it's a, then usually it's right, right? Or maybe it's one of the brains. Maybe it has multiple brains. It can have a lot of brains. Yeah. It can have brains. It can have ten. Uh, it can have twenty. It can have hundred. It can have one. It can have. It can have. It can have twenty-two and a million thousand. That's yes. just one brain. I I I wish I had that many brains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you will have ten thousand. So, as well. I know! Like you can do so much fun stuff with Alright guys, now pay attention. We're gonna take try to see what's underneath this circuit, okay? Oh my god. Alright, yeah, that's interesting. I always right. do Let's see. Oh my god. That's my fashion word. That's your fashion word? Yes, I always say it. Our oh. little engineers has fashion words too, by the way. So oh, here we go. My so, fashion word is Alright guys, cheap. now pay attention. Yes. So, oh. this is the circuit. If you see, it was plugged in here. You see that? So, see, it was plugged into this circuit using this is. Anybody want to guess what this is called? We've, we've used this in the past. What is it called, please? Um, is it called um, a resistor? It starts with C. Anybody want to guess? Yeah, can I see? Anybody in the team wants to guess what it is? Guess, go for it. No, no, what is it called? 
No? Yes. No cup. Does it look like a board? Yeah. yeah. Circle board. Yeah. Yes. Good job, team. Good job, team. Good job, team. Good job, team. C. It's a C. C yeah. with it's a circle. Yeah. No, because it's it's with an I and C and I makes it a circle. Yeah. It it starts with it it's sounding like a S, but it's a C. Okay, we're not talking about letters right now. We're not talking about letters. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's a circuit board. And in the circuit board, we've already talked about the main parts of the circuit board. So you guys talked about the brain, you talked about the diode, and then these are the, the terminals. Now I these terminals will explain. Yeah, that could be a resistor, you right? Oh, actually, that uh, that looks like more like a relay, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Uncle, Uncle, mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I first we were in a black and now we're in a blue. Can I see? Now, now, can, should do we? What do we mean? That's about? a very difficult problem. Um, <coughs> I agree. Maybe I, I think so. I think so. All right. Here we go. Now, pay attention here, please. Oh, look. I see a little circuit board. So, so this, is, this is just empty right okay. here. What? Yeah. Oh, and man. you see another thing. It's, 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 it's a strong magnet. I, I said that before. That's good. Yeah, the team this said is. it. I know what that is. The team said it. I know what that is. There you go. I know what this is. Yes. What is it? Um, uh, I forgot what it's called. Okay. It's good. not to the Oh, that's a capacitor. I think. Yes. Oh, yes, capacitor. That's it's a, a capacitor. It's a different kind of capacitor like this. Yeah. Oh my god. And I never well, that and capacitor. anybody wants to get what this is? Resistor. Yes. Nice. I, I, and before it is. Anybody uh -huh. wants to get this? I, I think it's a relay. It's a, yeah. Yes, it could be a relay. Capacitor. Can I see the relay? Yeah. Where's the relay? Oh, oh, I just saw the resistor. Yeah, resistor yeah. relay. Faster than the one. Yeah, and, then and then there's a circuit board underneath. Oh. <laughs> wow. We mm -hmm. have seen so many circuit boards by now. I think it's amazing how circuit board can do, right? What circuit board can, can do. But why does everything need a circuit board? I think that's that's a good That's a very good question. That's a very good question. So why, why do you think it needs a circuit board? To function properly? Yes. And it also has to convert. See, remember we were talking about this diagram earlier? What the what we did not explain to you is we explained this is this is a direct current circuit, but it's a battery. It's a battery. Hey, I read about the direct circuit. Yeah, yeah. but when it I comes in, when it comes in, it comes in as alternating current. So what the circuit I first does? That too. Yeah, so what the circuit first does is it converts alternating current to direct current, and then it also does this whole mechanism that we talked. It tells everyone, okay, it's now your turn to jump and collide. And then it tells the next one, your turn to jump. It controls the circuit. And team, so, I have a secret. So that everybody doesn't turn together at one time. Right? I have a secret to tell you. What? Don't tell it to anyone. It's a secret. Mm -hmm. oh, the, ele it? the electricity that we get at, at our home, it's not the same as what battery has. But we put batteries in our school things. Yeah. Oh like you a nice snap circuit. So, yeah, so snap whatever, yeah, so whatever battery you see, as Uncle Uncle said, it's a direct current. It just it goes from positive to negative. But the electricity that we get at home is alternating current. It's alternating current. Our engineers are amazing. It's an alternating current. Oh, I know. And now the problem is LED can only work with batteries. Mm -hmm. When LED works with batteries, how can we light this bulb with this home electricity? We have to convert this alternating current, which is special light electricity that we get at home, to something direct, which is, that, which is the battery that we get to charge this thing. And that magic is done by that circuit. So now, now let's recap and see if you guys can, then I'll ask you guys if you can explain how uh, LED, how LED bulb works, okay? So now what's happening is electricity is coming in from here at the bottom. Uh, Sorry. If, this is the if we saw this is the black part this is the red part it comes in from here it gets into these wires right from the wires it gets into this circuit pay attention please it gets it into the circuit and through the relay and the capacitors and the resistors it gets converted and then from that it gets into this real part which is the dire part circuit board and then these are connected here uh, wait, I didn't like that right so it goes from the circuit board into this and then it tells these diodes to switch on so that they can emit the electricity. And 
you also know how they convert electricity. We talk to you about this, right? Two people running towards each other. Twilight, like mm -hmm. in night school. Yeah. Me and Tristy were running to hug each other, but mm -hmm. we, instead we just crashed and I have to go to the nurse with my friends. And I okay. think, and I think one stuff. thing, so I, I want to try something. I want to try something. Can I try something? Do I, do I have do you, I have the permission of my little engineer club? Okay. So now we know so this is what we'll see what is so we know that the house electricity can convert into battery. How do we do that? Do you want to see that magic? Can I just talk something? Yes. Also AC stairs with alternating colors. Yes. So now uh, this is this is how it looks. And it's it it, it it will blow your mind. What's going on? So this is a so typical battery current is like this. It's just straight. It's safe. Whatever. So whatever voltage we want to see, it's just this. This is zero. Right? Yep. Positive and, 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 and when you see what's going on in our house, it's a special thing. See what happens here. It's a magic. Don't tell it. Don't tell it to anyone. It's our close secret. Okay? Very few of us know what's going on. So this is, it goes like this. Isn't it funky? This is 5 volt. This is minus 5 volt. Now, think how we can make something like this, like this. Yes. My hands. To make it like. That's a, that's a, that's, that's, that's a very good point. I think that's a, that's a very good point. Yeah. So we have to do it by hands. So we have to do some magic. And I'll, 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 I'll tell you a secret. I know. Careful, careful. I think we have to be very careful with this. So, so listen, 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 listen. So now what happens? T. 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 Pay attention, please. So now what happens? Mia. Mia, pay attention, please. So now imagine what if I, I tip this over. So if I just do a magic and somehow as soon as someone goes here, I say, hey, don't go here. Can you just go here? And as soon as someone goes there, I said, don't go here. Can you go here? Do you see now what happened? Yeah. So we have almost like this. Which is almost same as this guy. Right? Do you know who does this? No. A hand. But what in the circuit? Our hands are not in the circuit. And That's what this hand. guy is all about. It's doing all this magic. Yeah. So relay, relay is the one that switches. Relay, relay rectifier. Wait, wait. Yeah. Um, is that, it's a relay that like little red box? Yes. Yeah, relay is like a gate. It goes like, okay, if somebody wants to go this way, they should so go this way. That's a, Amguranga is a beautiful point. So what it's, uh, the moment this, this comes here, they say, the relay says, hey, don't go here, go here. Yeah, it's like a gate. So just go here. Then the moment it, it hits, they say, hey, don't go here. And then go here. So now at the end of the day, it almost acts like a, this guy. Right? All right and guys. we can lit our... LED bulbs! Isn't that exciting? Yep. Alright, I'm going to give this to you guys. It's a hands magic by the way. So you, yeah, I think that's a great, great uh, part. Alright guys, I'm going to give this to you, all the props. And then you have to explain to us how an LED bulb works. Anybody wants to go first? I want to see it. Awesome. Right. But you want to go first? Uh, yes. Okay. When these two bump into each other. Okay. okay. okay yes. Yeah. Mom is yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom you each other. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, then they two, they two like um, make the light go on. Mm -hmm. That's good. good. That's, That's good. good. Ishita, you want to explain as well? Okay, so uh, the electricity goes to here. Then, okay. Then this sends it to these two wires. Okay. And it goes through the circuit board. Mm -hmm. And it goes through this diode. Mm -hmm. thing, and then it goes through the circuit board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the diodes emit electricity using the principle that Pari just explained. Yes, and then like... Um, and by the way, this is not that principle that runs the school. <laughs> <laughs> and All of you are doing an amazing job. Keep creating beautiful little engineers, by the way. Yes, uh, and these two people together. Uh, and all that it generates heat. Yes, yes, there you go. Mia, you want to explain too? Beautiful. Alright, go for it. Um, this sends electricity to the circuit board and Mm -hmm. It's connected, so mm -hmm. it um it goes into the circuit, mm -hmm. yeah. and then it goes to 
the red one connects to here, mm -hmm. and the black one connects to there. Okay. And this is actually not a part of the circuit, but it's uh -huh. just to hold something. Okay. See? Okay. And? But the black wire goes into the circuit board. Okay. And then it goes to this. Okay. Resistor. Okay. And it slows down okay. the electricity. Okay. And then this one goes to the Okay. And then what happens? And then they mix up. Okay. And then they mix up. Okay. And then they go to the circuit board. Yep. They mix up using the relay and then they, what happens? And then they go to um, capacitor. the capacitor. Okay. And then the capacitor takes it to this. Okay. What is that? It just holds the charge and then okay. makes it go to the, the diode station. Okay. And then mm. it goes through all the diodes. Okay. And then it comes to the circuit board. Uh -huh. It just is there now. Okay, then I Okay, can. and then diodes send the electricity. You want to, uh, and then like Vari and Ishita already explained, when positives and negatives come together like this, they emit the light using I, the diodes. I, I love the diode station. That's, yeah. that's a very creative. That's a creative thing. Good, good job. Yeah, it's mm. like the diode train station. So. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was good explanation. So that was, I think, so today we learned a bunch of things. So we learned how, why we use LED? Because we want to eat as many donuts as possible, right? We, we, and we want to change the color of the light and yeah. LED can help us do that. And, and, and then we also learned there's electricity that goes inside the house is not what's in the battery. So we convert it using something called, and what is, that's called a driver. It drives electricity into something which, which which the LED can use, and then as Ankur, Uncle, and, and and all of you explained beautifully, when the holes and the electrons collide, they generate electricity, they generate light, and that light will help light up light up the room, and um, that is how LED works, and this is again uh, this this by the way is, uh, one more time I want to I really emphasize the security measure. Uh, it requires us to sort of twist open um, the the bulb using uh, a vice. So please use an uh, adult. You, yeah, using a vice. So yes, we have to use an adult and be very 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 uh, cautionful of what we're doing. Now, uh, so we'll start. Guess me up quickly. What do you want to say? Can we leave now? Uh, we're very soon. Uh, Ishita, do you want to say something? And um, what do diodes do again? So diodes. Um, okay. So diodes are like, they are, it's, it's like your classroom. So your classroom has all the boys and the girls. And, and whenever sort of your friends sort of plunge into each other, they produce light. That's what diodes do. So it has uh, holes and it has electrons. They work together in a sandwich. So it's like a sandwich. Yes, Prabhna, quick. And remember about like, about what happened in my school. Yes. So uh, again, team, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what we are doing, do support us. Uh, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Do let others know. Uh, and if you have any thoughts, suggestions, uh, do let us know. We have also made our site public, engineers.club. You will see that link on the description below. Thank you so much. Uh, looking forward to the next week. Amazing experiment. I would again like to thank our amazing team for doing a beautiful job and amazing audience for staying with us for so long and uh, hoping to see your support and, uh, and, and we'll do some fun projects moving forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. So guys, what do you think? Were you fun? Yeah. Uh, Share and subscribe. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one.